The public debate over The Voice getting personal. This full-page advertisement in the Australian Financial Review, authorised by no campaign group Advance Australia, depicts West Farmers chairman Michael Cheney with his daughter, independent MP Kate Cheney, sitting on his lap. Mr Cheney is offering a stack of cash to Yes23 director Thomas Mayo, pointing to West Farmers' $2 million donation to the Yes campaign. In a statement, Miss Cheney slammed the depiction, saying that... It's disappointing to see the No campaign stooping to personal and racist attacks. It's a straightforward cartoon, which is uh, uh, spelling out exactly what it is, which is about you know, corporate Australia spending shareholders' money uh, on, on this uh, campaign. But the depiction of Thomas Mayo has outraged supporters of The Voice. It is offensive, it's inappropriate. That kind of racist trope does not belong in Australian politics. No campaigners aren't having it. In a statement, Advance Australia accused the Yes campaign of... ..playing the race card straight off the top of the deck. I don't see any racism about that. Uh, and, 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 of course, uh, it, 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 there's no sexism whatsoever in it. And in response to whether the debate has got out of hand and the attacks are getting too personal, Mr Mundine pointed his finger of blame directly at the Prime Minister. We have not started this battle. He has. But at his press conference, Anthony Albanese refused to be drawn in. We'll continue to be positive. And this is a positive initiative. This afternoon, the paper's publisher, Nine, apologised, saying the ad should not have been allowed to run in the first place. In a statement, a spokesperson said it wants to avoid personal or inappropriate attacks in the debate. Thomas Mayo and West Farmers decided not to respond to the ad. Isaac Naruzzi, ABC News, Canberra.